Spring cleaning. Aha, I never use this thing. <laughs> the junk truck is going to be here any minute. There you go. Uh, Millie, the idea is to find useless junk people will want. <laughs> Looking for this? <laughs> Thanks, cat. <laughs> Wait, one more box. <laughs> Job well done, guys. <laughs> Don't tell me. The, the cat. cat! He's diabolical, Dad! You gotta believe me! Coop, next time you see Cat do something diabolical, make sure someone else sees it too. <laughs> Great idea! I'm gonna stick to you like glue till you see Cat attack! Uh, yeah, that's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, what are you guys doing? I wanna do it too, whatever it is. <sighs> My morning started out so simple. <laughs> <sighs> Coop, don't you think this little experiment has gone on long enough? No way! It'll uh, give us some father-son bonding time. <laughs> Look out! What? Coop! Uh, I just want to give my dad a big hug. Me too, me too. <sighs> Coop, I'm all for togetherness, but if you were any closer, I'd be wearing you like a jacket. I gotta stay close to prove the cat is causing all my problems. No, oh, cat's probably just napping in Millie's room right now, son. <laughs> Do I want to know? Nope. What you doing, Daddy? Trying to read my paper, sweetie. What's Coop doing? Trying to stick close to Dad. Not closer than me. Well, you've both got three minutes of closeness before I go to work. There! He's doing it! Dad, look! Look, Dad! Look! Oh, no. Look at me, Daddy! I'm not looking at either of you until I finish reading my paper. Hit the cat! <laughs> Why in the world did you play slingshot with my Mung Vaz? It was the cat, Dad. Didn't you see him? All I see is a crater-sized hole in my easy chair. But... But nothing. It has to be more relaxing at work. Don't go. I mean, I'm with you, Dad. I'm with you, too. So... Thank goodness I don't have three kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like someone found the gymnastics equipment. Ta-da! Gentlemen and Coop, Millie the Magnificent presents the greatest gymnastics routine ever! <laughs> yeah! Almost, honey. <laughs> Uh-oh. Cat's on the move. Dad, this is not a safe place. Someone could really hurt themselves on that swordfish or the spurs on those cowboy boots. Coop. You're the most dangerous thing in this shop. Uh, I was just, uh, thinking of Millie. Well, stop thinking of me and start looking at me. Look, Daddy, look! I'm looking, honey bun. <laughs> Bravo! Uh, Millie, do you think you could perform your baton bonanza in the storeroom while I do inventory? Hmm? Okay, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you 
gotta see this! No, I gotta do inventory! Ah! Wait for me! Ah! Uh, ah! <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> That's a relief. You're right, Coop. This place is way too dangerous. For you. Let's go. Now you're talking! It won't budge! Mr. Cat! He's trapped out there! Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Finally, some good news! I'm sorry, Mr. Cat! <laughs> Totem pole won't budge. Can I help, Dad? No, I want to help. I'm a better helper than you. Okay, I, I need some space. Millie, go play quietly over there. Ah! A little cookie crumbles, lazy baker, radioactivity oven, goodie. Coop, you totaled my recliner and Mung vase, trapped the family, and almost cracked my lucky totem pole. That's a busy day, even for you. So do me a favor and sit in that corner. And don't get up from that stool! But what if... Coop? La, la, I'm baking with my oven. Huh? I'm doing it! It's moving! <laughs> Mr. Cat, you're sweet! It's even more stuck than before. Mr. Cat, we're making cupcakes. Mm. <laughs> hey, Millie, don't let Cat near those cupcakes. Don't be silly. Mr. Cat is a great chef, aren't you, Mr. Cat? In a sec, sweetie. Okay, maybe I'll have that cupcake. Cupcakes! <laughs> Why, these look delicious, Millie. Coop? I stayed on the stool. Just like you said. Stooly boy, that's me. Back to your corner, young man. From now on, you will not leave this square, on the stool or not, or you'll be grounded for eternity. What? Okay, Dad. Move! Uh, ow! Uh, uh, ow! Uh, uh, <laughs> How dumb does he think I am? I know a trap when I see one. Ooh, cupcakes. <gasps> but Millie doesn't! No, Millie, stay away! You have your chance. These cupcakes are all mine. <laughs> I hate to do this to you, Totem Pole. We've had some good times. <laughs> this is some axe! Dad! Coop is out of his square! Young man, I told you what would happen if you left your square. I'm afraid you're... Grounded for eternity. I know. A month in my room without... Cat! Hey! <laughs> ah, a peaceful cat-free environment for a whole month. You, Dad? All right, I'm coming. Mr. Cat! It's time for your checkup with Dr. 
Dr. Millie and Nurse rub my tummy tum bear. <laughs> What's this do? <laughs> Dad? Coop! Coop! What are you still doing in bed? You're gonna be late for school. Good. <laughs> wow. Jeez, Coop, you look horrible. I'm sick. What's going on? I'm gonna be late for school. Your poor brother's sick, Millie. Sherm <laughs> Cootie! Hmm, well, you don't have a fever. What do you say we put some menthol rub on your chest, huh? Strong stuff, hey, Coop? <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Really, uh, I think I'm better now. See, all better. <laughs> now I smell like old lady Munson. <laughs> Trust me, it's good for you. And in the fridge, there's some of my world-famous chicken cabbage tofu soup. I have to be at the shop for a delivery, but I'll check in on you on the walkie-talkie. What you need is a day of sleep in a nice, quiet house. Just you and Mr. Cat. Okay. Just me and Mr. Cat. Some sleep. How's my sick little guy? Did you get any sleep? I can't sleep. Cat's mugging me. Cat's mugging you? Well, the poor kid's delusional. Uh, not mugging, mugging! Oh, bugging! Well, I don't know, Coop. Maybe you should use this time to get closer to Cat. Oh, like keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Spending time with a pet can make a sick person feel better. Uh, maybe you two could bond over some of my chicken tofu soup. I added extra prune juice to this batch. Uh, uh, sorry, Dad. You're uh, breaking up. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come join me on the couch? Watch some cartoons? Hey! Ooh, whatever will I do without my tissues? <laughs> Cat, but remember, my germs are everywhere. Ah! 
<laughs> Who needs a sofa when you got an easy blow air mattress? <laughs> there we go. Now just to take a nap before I watch more cartoons. <sighs> That's just plain weird, even for you. <laughs> hey, 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 come back. Let's see what else a little Jeremy Air does to you. <laughs> Dad the Coop, Dad the Coop, over. <coughs> Hi, Dad. <coughs> Ugh, that's a nasty cough. I'm not sure we have any cough syrup, but you know what's good for a cough? Uh, uh, soup. Well, I was thinking menthol rub, but how about a cup of tea with honey? I found some, Dad. I'll, uh, leave the soup and the menthol rub for later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, what? Where am I? No! Don't you dare! Ah! Ah! Stop! Stop! I'll let you use my baseball bat as a scratching post! Ah! Ah! Okay! Oh! You can use my Captain Blaster or camera bat as a litter box! Behind the mixing bowls. <laughs> Coop, Coop, are you there? Dad! Coop? Dad! Coop? Dad! Can you hear me? Hey, Coop, how are you feeling? Did you have any soup yet? Soup! I'm getting the distinct feeling you don't like my soup. Uh-oh. You know, if it's the pickles, you can just pick them out. The cabbage, well, <laughs> everyone knows you can't make chicken soup without cabbage. And lots of hot sauce is the only way to cure a cold. No, not the soup! At least warm it up first! Coop? Hello? Hmm, must have fallen asleep. Good for him. Looks like someone's feeling better. Why on earth is the couch outside? <sighs> Coop! Cat <laughs> uh, and I were just bonding. It looks more like you're tormenting poor Mr. Cat. Oh, it's all right. I'm here now. Spending time with Cat did make me feel better, Dad. That and your soup. Really? 
Well, then I'll whip up an extra batch to keep you healthy, son. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cat, you've got Coop's cold. I'll take care of you. We'll just go play doctor. Get a move on, Coop. We're clearing out the crawl space. Time to give this box of old Bootsville buglers the boot. Daddy, my toes have crust on them. Yeah, I'll trim them off in a jiffy, honey. Uh, Coop, can you take this old news to the curb? <gasps> this could be bad news for my back. Frisky bits. I found his secret stash. Hey, cat. Need some help picking up your kitty treats? Okay. <laughs> Saved you one. It's not nice to tap. He got an F on his history report. Unless it involves your brother and failing grades. It wasn't my fault. The cat trashed my report. I taped it back together, but the scraps got mixed up. In 1492, Queen Isabella discovered Columbus eating Thanksgiving turkey in his ships, the Nina, the Panda, and the Santa Claus. That's <laughs> wrong, right? Why does bad stuff always happen to me? Why did that cat have to happen to me? Negative thinking gets you nowhere. You've got to think positive, Coop. Okay, I'm positive bad things happen to me. I think I've got just the thing to help you. Old self-help motivational tapes. Tapes? I've heard of them, but I've never actually seen one. I'm okay, everyone else needs help. Sounds perfect. Uh, a little help here? <laughs> just fall asleep and our subliminal slogans will change your life. Well, I got nothing to lose. It's okay. Problems don't bother me. I will not give in to negative thinking. There is no catastrophe I cannot overcome. Uh, I don't feel any different. But that's okay. Problems don't bother me. Morning, cat. That's okay. I will not give in to negative thinking. You can have the major munch, Millie. I wanted to try munchy honey bumps of crunch anyway. Good for you, Coop. No, I want munchy honey bumps of crunch. Bert Burger, you stop that racket. Good morning, Mrs. Munson. You're looking a lovely shade of purple today. Oh, why, thank you. There is no catastrophe I cannot overcome. You're in a good mood for someone who got an F on his history report. When you embrace the positive, you'll see that you and me are free to be the we that we were meant to be. <laughs> Looks like the nerdlinger forgot to put on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the coolest lens flare off his pasty white chest. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I will not feed my fears. <laughs> Do you have your winky ink rainbow marker set on you? Mm-hmm. All ten magical hues. <laughs> Boots, Bill, Beagles, go, dogs, go! All right, woo! Dad? Dad! I had the best day ever! That self-help tape actually worked! That's great, Coop! Nothing's gonna stop me now. 
Problems don't bother me. I will not give in to negative thinking. Problems bother me. <laughs> Bother me. I will give in to negative thinking. Catastrophe, catastrophe, feed my fears. <sighs> it's another great fall! The floor is so far down. That's not okay. Problems bother me. <sighs> Morning, Coop. I got you a brand new box of Major Munch. Uh, what if I choke? Or develop this sudden allergy to milk? That's not okay! It's a catastrophe! Look at all that spilled milk! Bye, baby! <laughs> there he is, Lauren! Go! To the Bootsville Beagle Victory Mark with us! Bootsville Beagle! It's dark in here! Catastrophe! Catastrophe! Problem bother me! Keep it down! I'm trying to watch the old and the toothless! <laughs> I will feed the cat. I will feed the cat. Must feed the cat. Must feed the cat. Dad? Feed the cat. Feed the cat. <gasps> what cat wants, cat gets. Cat! Anger frightens me. I've got to save Dad! But problems bother me. The only way to beat Cat is to be as evil as he is! That's not okay. I'm a good kid, but in order to be good, I've got to be bad for Dad. No one messes with me. I'm your worst nightmare. You got a problem with that punk, do ya? No one messes with me. Switch from gum to hard candy. Ever since I wised up, buddy boy. The only way to fight a bad cat is to be an even badder coop. Is that your dad's leather jacket? <laughs> ah! Now that's what I call walk the dogs. Now give me your lunch money. <laughs> I told you to stay off my zippy, Grandma. Or your gnomes are gonna take a one-way trip to the bottom of your wishing well. <laughs> Coop, you've changed. So what's it do ya, Denise? Ow! Not cool, Coop. <laughs> wow, Daddy! Mr. Cat will be so happy with all these yummy treats. What Cat wants, Cat gets. <laughs> Listen up, Wussy Cat. This little box of kitty treats is all mine. Got it? Seen Coop? Ow. Coop, we gotta talk. It's no good you being bad. Remember me, Dennis? Hey, what's with all the cat treats? Must feed the cat. Wait for me, Daddy. Come on, Coop. We used to share a playpen together. Not anymore. I'm in charge around here now. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down, you're still good! You're still good! Huh? No one messes 
with me. You're still good. You got a problem with that, punk? You're still good. You're tearing me apart. <gasps> <gasps> What? what? What are we doing in here? That was not funny, Coop. It was the self-help tape, Dad. It turned me bad. Well, at least this time you didn't blame the cat. It's a start. I'm positively proud of you, son. <laughs> I'm still your worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling more positive by the minute. Get the yarn, Mr. Cat. Get that yarn. <laughs> get the yarn, Mr. Cat. You get that yarn. Millie, get the yarn someplace else. We were here first. Mr. Cat and I can be here if we wanna. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Cat. Get the yarn. Hmm. Huh? Cat, you sure showed that ball of yarn who's boss. It's Bread Burger on the breakaway! Coming <laughs> out! Gangway! Do you mind? It's the third period, the score's tied, and I'm going for a hat trick. You're not even wearing a hat, Coop. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Do you think there's a planet where sisters and cats don't exist? If it does, I'm first in line for the shuttle. <sighs> Birds have it made. They fly around in the sky. Nothing can touch them. Except for bats. Bats? And really tall robots. Hey, I know. We should build ourselves a tree fort. Ow! Millie! Mr. Cat and I are butterfly hunting. Ow! Oh, oh, so close. We'll get it next time. About that fort? Sooner rather than later, okay? This is gonna be the best tree house ever. It's not just gonna be a tree house. It's gonna be a tree castle. Ah! I wanna draw two. Graham, Millie, we're busy. Coop, that's no way to talk to your... Hey, are those plans for a tree house? <sighs> yeah, isn't it great? It's gonna have a video game room, a fireman's pool, and a helipad. What's that? That's the balcony for tea parties. We're not gonna be having silly stuff like tea parties up there. Besides, that's where the bowling alley's supposed to be. You want some help? Your old man has made a tree fort or two in his time. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but Dennis and I want to do this ourselves. No dads, no sisters, and definitely no cats. Hmm. Who cares about your dumb old boy anyway? Come on, Mr. Cat, let's play hospital. <laughs> All right, Dennis, let's find some wood to build with. Let's tear down the fence. That's the spirit. Whoa, boys, boys, not the fence. It's right here in the plants. See? No way! But Bendy Betsy is ready to move in. and high-tech security. Last one in is a smelly gym bag! <laughs> Way to go, boys! It's terrific! So where's the helipad and the fire pole and the dedicated candy room? They go up in phase two of construction! Well, what about the bowling alley? You said there was going to be a bowling alley. Prepare to be amazed! <laughs> Millie, this fort is a little sister 
in Cat Free Zone. Ah, oh, come on, Coop. Give your sister a quick tour of the facilities. Fine, a quick tour, but don't touch anything. You might set off a booby trap. All right, Millie. Tour's over. Time to go. Am spray. Come on, Mr. Cat. We don't need their silly fort. Ah! Oh, I've read the same comic six times, and it always ends the same way. Dennis, you're missing the point. You've read the same comic six times in your own tree fort. Hmm. I hadn't thought of it that way. Ice Cream Man! I can still hear him! Where is he? It takes a certain kind of evil to fake an Ice Cream Man drive-by! Cat! Taking our board back if we have to tear it down to do it. Do you see him? There, there's the purple rat. I don't know about this, Coop. We built a lot of defenses into that board. There's no way he could know our secrets. Besides, we've got the element of surprise. Big bombs away! Without you 
SPF 1000 sunblock, silly. Dad, look! Cat was trying to build some kind of communication device. Is that the cookie sheet? I've been looking for it all over the kitchen. Cat was using it to call other evil cats, and they were answering him. And, and... Uh... Coop, you need to come up with a better story than that. If you need materials for the fort, just ask me. Dad says it's only fair we take turns in the treehouse. Then you can come and join our tea party if you want. We'll build another tree fort, and it'll be even bigger and better, and it'll be in a secret location. Right after a quick snack break. Ice cream man! <laughs> the most delicious cookies in the universe! You can never stop at just one. Sorry, cat! <laughs> ah! Creepy! <laughs> Hi, Coop! How many boxes of cookies would you like to order? Greeny girl cookies. <sighs> you have to pay for them! You have some nerve trying to steal orders from my house! <laughs> Not on my watch, Missy! It's Phoebe! You're forgetting the Greeny Girl's ABCs. Always be cookie selling, which is why I'll be this year's top cookie seller and you'll be sweeping up my crumbs. Hey, nobody talks to my cookie source that way. Especially not since you promised me a three for one deal, right? What? Remind me, Phoebe, what flavors do Greeny Girl cookies come in? Well, there's... Okay, fine. All right. Sorry, Phoebe. I guess Millie's a better sales girl than you. Which is why I'm gonna win this contest. Care to make a little wager? You bet I do. What do I get when I win? If you win, I'll give you my little Miss Bootsville princess tiara. <laughs> and if you win, how about an afternoon of quality time? <laughs> no way! Make it a week and you're on. Hey, you're not dragging me into your dumb little bet. I'll give you a four for one cookie deal. Deal. Yay, Coop's in the back! I look forward to our quality time together, Coop. But, but, I... Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't worry. With my cuteness, the cookie orders will pour in. Right. Dad, I gotta help Millie win the top cookie seller contest. Ah, that's very brotherly of you, Coop. There's a four-for-one deal at stake. What we need is a gimmick. But what? <laughs> I think somebody just volunteered to play dress up. I wasn't talking about me. Aw, don't you look cute? Yeah, cute like victory. Yep, well, it's all for a good cause. Cookies. I wasn't talking about you. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Let's sell some cookies! Come on, Mr. Cat. Let's go sell some cookies! Not old Lady Munson. She's Captain Cookie's kryptonite. Don't be silly. Mrs. Munson always buys cookies from me. Oh, hello, Millie. Mrs. Munson, would you like to order multiple boxes of Greeny Girl cookies? Uh, sorry, Millie, I'm saving my pennies for Growler's new flea collar. He's had the same one for six years. But look at his cute costume. <laughs> ah, not Coop, Mr. <laughs> Cat. Oh, how adorable. Put me down for a case. Growler's flea collar will just have to wait. Uh, piece of cookie covered cake. Granny Girl Cookie! Let me talk to someone with money. <laughs> hey, Coop. Lorne? Harley? What are you doing? Getting a shot of the elusive bookie. Half boy, half cookie, with a soft, nerdy filling. Ha ha. It's gonna be in our next release of Crazy Coop Collector Cards. What? Let me see those. 
Zombie cat boy. Got it. The strikeout. Got it. Mr. Freddy cat. Need it? Uh... I only collect them for the gum. <laughs> I believe this house is in my territory. It's not! Corner houses are up for grabsies. <laughs> I'm way ahead in sales, so you can have it. I'll still win our bet and some quality time with Coop. <laughs> that does it. I'm calling off the bed. I have my dignity. <laughs> Billy, don't! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, don't cry, little girl. I'll order some cookies from you. Thank you. Millie, that's the best sales gimmick ever. Penny, we can win this. The bet is still on. <laughs> Contest, Daddy. Then Phoebe can eat my cookie dust. See what happens when you two work together? Together? Yeah, right. Man, those are some heavy cookies. <laughs> Here, Daddy. You get the first box. Thanks, honey. Now let it go. I can't. They're so good. <laughs> <sighs> Even a greeny girl can't resist the call of the cookie for long. Please, can I have a cookie, Dad? They're so scrumptiously good. Coop, you know you can never stop at just one. No one can. I'll open this box after you help Millie deliver her orders tomorrow. It'll be your reward for a job well done. All of Millie's greeny girl cookies? Huh? <laughs> I didn't do it! The cat did! <laughs> the crumbs on your face tell another tale, son. What crumbs? I haven't eaten a single cookie yet. Oh, those are greeny girl cookie crumbs, all right. I'm docking your allowance till you pay for all the cookies you ate. But I'll be 65 before I pay it off! Unless now is a good time to ask for a raise? <gasps> the loss of those cookies is nothing to joke about, young man. You're grounded until further notice. <laughs> if I don't have any cookies to deliver, I won't win the top cookie seller contest. And Phoebe will never let me forget it. There, there, sweetie. We can always move away if we have to. <laughs> I gotta clear my name and get my allowance back. Triple scoop to waffle cone. Report to the deep freeze ASAP. <sighs> What's with the gear, Coop? You and me are going catfishing. Millie's monster cat ate all her cookies and framed me for it. He sabotaged Millie? Why? To get to me! If Millie loses that bet, I'll have to spend quality time with Phoebe. <laughs> that cat truly is diabolical! So we'll set a trap and catch him in the act of cookie eating. But you said he ate all the cookies. Did he? Yes! We got the bait. Now we wait. And try not to eat these ourselves. <laughs> I am going to put this last cookie box where the cat will never find it. Sure hope the cat won't eat that box of cookies and frame me for it. Hmm. Waffle Cone, what's your status? Waffle Cone is in the cooler. I repeat, Checkpoint Chowtown is... Yeah, I can see for myself. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. Kitty! Shh. Did he see us? I'll check. He's gone! Way to blow our cover, Dennis. Me? You're the one who said shh. <laughs> what is going <gasps> Millie! You ate the cookies? were so good! Ha! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Like for once, it wasn't you! 
ghost, but more importantly, it wasn't me! Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, Coop. I was wrong to accuse you. And as for you, Millie, well, I'm very disappointed. Welcome to my world. You'll spend an extra long time out in your room today. That's it? For eating all those cookies? She's just a little girl, and the call of the cookie is strong. But she does have to say she's sorry for framing you. Yeah! Millie? What he said. Close it up! All right! I just heard that Millie sold the most cookies. I've come to give her my little Miss Bootsville tiara. Yep, thanks. See you around. Ahem. <clears throat> Phoebe! Wait. You ate all your cookies? But my dad's gonna pay for them. Oh, cool. <laughs> time for our quality time. Yeah, uh, sorry, Phoebe, but Coop's been grounded until further notice. a bad, bad boy. Oh, well, maybe Honey Fluff and I can spend some quality time with Millie and Mr. Cow. <laughs> Kitty pageant! Can I wear your tiara? Don't push your luck. I saved us an extra box. Cookie, anyone? This game is boring. Plus, Coop never throws me the ball. Like you could even handle the heat I'm throwing, Millie. Come on, Coop. Throw the ball to your sister. Fine. Here's something you could handle. <laughs> nice throw. Wow! What an arm! Get the ball, will you, son? But she... she... No, no, it's a goose ball. Oh, I can't even get the dumb sister. Oh, just kidding. Oh, this is just one of us. My shoe! Thanks a lot, Millie. <coughs> there you are. <laughs> Evil, careless creature, squirrel, Coop? beast, purple, which is the What's the matter? And what happened to your shoe? Where's the ball? <laughs> Evil, naked, sewer rat with freckings. Horrible, hairless eyes. <laughs> Millie! It's got her! It? Daddy, Daddy, look, look at what I found! <laughs> Isn't he just the cutest kitty in the whole world? Wait, that's a cat? Oh, can I keep him, Daddy? Oh, please, can I, can I, can I, huh? Oh, please! Uh, he's got a collar, honey. He must belong to someone. Yeah, someone with really bad eyesight. <laughs> Sorry, Millie, but we can't keep him. Her, or it. We've got to find the owner. <laughs> Think about it, son. Well, what about my ball? I gotta get it back! You know darn well that whatever or whoever enters old Lady Munson's yard is never seen again. And I really don't feel like dealing with her today. Ugh. What's still, kitty? There! Don't she look precious? <laughs> you must be so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Ugh, I've made enough posters to cover the whole neighborhood. I've decided that I'm going to call him Mr. Cat. Great name. Well, don't get too comfortable, Mr. Cat. I'm going to find your owner. Maybe Mr. Cat and I could help. Uh, sure. Goody! Come on, Mr. Cat! <laughs> Get rid of that ball 
called Squirrel. Did you find my kitty? <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> You found a cat? My dog is hungry. Try to swallow him whole. Thank you for coming, mister. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, son. I guess this means we'll be keeping Mr. Cat. I think I need something for my ears. That cat is so out of here. Let's see who you belong to, Mr. Cat. Whoa, this is one weird collar. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. You've really got it out for this cat, don't you, Coop? Why would you even think of blowing up his collar? And where'd you get the fireworks to do it? Ugh, I told you, Dad, it blew up by itself. Yeah, just finish cleaning up your mess and try to stay out of trouble. Cat! Goodbye, Growler! What have we got here? <laughs> Quickly, boy. Oh, man. Now my lucky baseball is gone, too. <laughs> ah, so that's where she keeps all the stuff. Mr. Cat, the wild garden gnome is ferocious when startled. But Big Brothers are a whole nother story. Holy moly! do we have here? Hello, Mrs. Munson. Would you like to meet Mr. Cat? Oh, well, well. <laughs> Mr. Cat is very nice indeed. Too bad I can't say the same about your nasty brother. Alone, they're bad enough. Together, a guy doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Can't draw. He's a cat. <laughs> That's no cat. It's some kind of alien. Hope. First, you blow a crater in the backyard. Then you sneak into Old Lady Monson's yard, and now this. <sighs> I never thought I'd say this, Coop. But go to your room. <sighs> Think, Growler. Perhaps Aloysius would enjoy some sun today. No, that won't do. He and Sir Scratch are up aren't speaking. Maybe he should visit with Tom Tuttle. <gasps> Tom Tuttle's is gone. <laughs> Bacon! Bacon! Is 
your brother up yet? Sourpuss is still asleep. Well, I hope he's had time to think about... Oh, Lady Munson! I'll get it. Billy! No! There you are, Mr. Cap. What have you been up to? Your juvenile delinquent son stole all of my confiscated toys and kidnapped Tom Tuttles! Coop wouldn't do a thing like that. I followed his footprints! No, oh, but those are all left feet. We'll sniff him out, won't we, Growler? Tom Tuttles! Where are you, Tom Tuttles? Tom Tuttles? <laughs> what the? Are you... what are... why? I didn't do this, I swear! Where are the toys you stole from my shed? What? I didn't steal anything from your shed! <laughs> um... <laughs> Tom Tuttles! A toy thief! And a gnome napper! I'll deal with you later. I, I, I'm sure it's just a maze he's going through! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's gonna give you up for adoption. You! I don't know how you set me up, but... My shoe! So that's the way you want to play it, huh? Well, I'm ready for anything, cat! You'll be sorry you missed me with that rock! Um, isn't anyone gonna get me down from here? Anyone? Too late for you, babies. <laughs> Unless you're scared. Watch it tonight, Channel 9, midnight. We're not scared of anything. Yeah, except spiders. Um, the dark, old lady Munson, candy apples, werewolves, double decker buses, uh, sometimes aardvarks. <laughs> the movie tonight, Lauren and Harley will know we chickened out. Tune in tonight, viewers, for the Ghoulish Gala, Channel 9. <laughs> Yeesh, it's just a commercial. She's right. We can do this, Dennis. You can vote for tonight's creature feature. Will it be zombie cat flesh eaters? <laughs> Attack of the Mega Leeches no. or Vampire Roller Derby. None of the above! I think I hear my mother calling Cockup! See you, Dennis! Call 555-0100! Right now! I can do this! I can do this! Each call costs 75 cents, and you can vote as many times as you like. Be sure to call in right away, viewers. There's only five more hours to vote. Five hours from now? Isn't that... Um, the middle of the night? Dad will let me stay up. Uh-uh. 
It's a school night. Dad won't let you stay up to watch some dumb movie. Oh, yeah? We'll see what he says when I use my powers of persuasion. No. But... It's past your bedtime. But... You have school in the morning. But... And scary movies give you nightmares. Did I forget anything? No. Told you so. All the votes have been counted. It's a landslide win with over 96,000 calls for tonight's ghoulish gala. Zombie cat flesh eaters. <laughs> Quiet. Well, I suppose you can clean out Mr. Cat's litter box for a month and your Fun Station 2000. No Fun Station! My Captain Blasteroid action figure? Three weeks of litter box duty. Two weeks! Two weeks, three days, and 12 hours, or I scream for dead. Deal! Okay, enjoy your bad dreams. Come on, Mr. Cat, it's time for bed. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
what you have to do. There's only one way to destroy a zombie cat. Just like in the movie. Drive a wooden stake through its black heart. Or stuff its mouth with garlic. Then its head will explode. Back to the abyss, you soulless feline buggy cat! You watched that horror movie, didn't you? <laughs> I called what number? 96,840 times? It's how much per call? I'll get it! Hey, Dennis, would you? <laughs> Look, it's Zombie Cat Boy himself! What's going on? Great performance last night, Coop. Better than the movie, even. Huh? Check it out. <laughs> zombie cat! Zombie cat! Zombie cat! Ah, ah, zombie cat! Ah. That cat is going down. <laughs> Coop, what did you do to Mr. Cat last night? He's all dusty. <laughs> You're right, Millie. Cat is dusty. Why don't you give him a bath? <gasps> Good idea, Coop. <laughs> this will fix you right up, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Look who's a scaredy cat now! Oh man, Dad's gonna freak when he sees this report card. I didn't know it was even possible to get a K in gym class. My ugh, grades would be way better ugh, if I didn't have to spend my time fending off cats. But I've got a plan. All I gotta do uh, is ace the science test tomorrow. Uh, then I'll show Dad my perfect test, along with the report card, and they'll cancel each other out. Uh, sounds easy enough. Hey! Uh, my report card! Uh, whoa. I think I'm gonna hurl. Give it back! Uh, uh. I forgot about that trick. No pity! Wait! What's this, Mr. Cat? A report card? Uh-oh. You know, Coop, I've been putting some serious thought into extending your bedtime. Wow, Dad, you're the greatest! But with grades like this, how can I? I didn't even know it was possible to get a K in gym class. Oh. But... And don't even think about blaming it on Mr. Cat. Fine. Look, Dad, these grades are old news. If I ace my science test tomorrow, it'll totally bring my grades back up. Well, I guess my decision can wait till I see how you do on this test. I'll be the perfect student and study all night and won't let anything distract me. That's the Burton Burger spirit. I'm on it. First, a little cat early warning system. Now, to get down to some serious studying. Pendulum. A weight hung from a fixed point so that it can swing freely back and forth under the influence of gravity. <sighs> Inertia. The tendency for an object in motion to remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Okay. <laughs> Okay, concentrate, centrifugal force. The outward force of a spinning object. Uh, that's good for now. <laughs> Just a small snack and I'll hit the books again. <laughs> Ooh, I win, I win. If you lose, cause I win. Who won, I won. And that's not annoying. Yeah. How's the studying going, champ? 
The test is in the bag. Yes, I got him now. Good to see him so enthusiastic. Hmm, what have you been up to? supposed to be studying, not basting a 12-pound bird. What are you doing with pillows in your ears? Millie was playing her music way too loud. Well, sounds like she's quieted down now. Mmm, turkey, warm milk, and pumpkin pie. Well, this'll knock me out like a light. <sighs> Don't study too late, sports. Just as soon as I have a little snack. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up. <laughs> Sleepwalking again, Burton Burger! That's the sign of a warped brain! Uh, I slept in? Yeah, you slept in. My bird bath! <gasps> oh no! Uh, I've got a bus to get! <laughs> Went the wrong way! From the day you were born! <laughs> Okay, I can study on the bus. No sweat. Just need to get dressed. <laughs> Cat sewed up all my clothes? Fine then. Arrives. Easy peasy. Ah. <laughs> uh, you kidding me? Oh, you are not kidding. Uh, I want to get out, but I'm being pulled down by some strange invisible force. Wait, that's gravity. If I can't go up, I'll let gravity take me. Yes! Now 
to catch the bus. Hey, these are pendulums. I can calculate the swing of their arms. There's no way you're messing up my chest now, Cat. I just needed to get into the swing of things. Thanks, Cat. Come on, open up. Is your brother up yet? No, I'm gonna miss the bus. <laughs> Coop, you came through with flying colors. I even got the bonus question right. Displacement of water. <laughs> now look what you've done. Mr. Cat, come back! Coop didn't mean it. Tell you what, Coop. Once you fix this hole, put the boulder out with the trash, and apologize to your sister, you've got your later bedtime. Thanks, Dad. But I'm going to bed right now. It's been a long day. I give him a later bedtime and he goes to bed early. Hm, I should have tried that years ago. A dollar an hour for cleaning the house of swap? I'd have done it for free to get away from Cat. But if we work for free, we can't buy the remastered DVD of Captain Lostroid, Master of Disasteroid! True. <coughs> if this place was called the House of Dust, your dad would be a gazillionaire. Whoa! Look at all this cool stuff! The astounding Blase, mysterious maestro of the highly improbable, reveals his greatest illusions! Oh, he was mysterious, all right. Legend has it Blase vanished while performing his greatest trick, the Cabinet of Curiosity! I had to trade our washing machine and a stack of mint condition Gooey Louie comics for this baby. Cool, magic rings! Observe, an ordinary scarf, or is it? <gasps> Ta-da! Bravo! Ah! Ah! Let me help you, Dennis. You seem to have a quarter in your nose. Presto! <sighs> Very funny. Better be careful, boys. You don't know what mysterious powers you might unleash. Dennis, I think we should unleash our mysterious powers on the neighborhood by putting on our own magic show. Sure. <laughs> Just as soon as I figure these things out. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the man-eating tigers! Yeah, and the tiger-eating lions! <laughs> <laughs> From the parallel dimensions of the unknown, from the shadows at the edge of mystery, I give you the Great Coutini! <laughs> Thank you! I will first astound you with the Jug of Astonishment! Wow! Dennis, the Jug! Oh, <clears throat> And now I will need a volunteer from the audience. Oh, oh, oh that Mr. Cat! He's perfect! Uh, maybe we could have a human. 
human volunteer. Anyone? Uh, you, sir. We've never met before, have we? God, uh, why, no, great Cooptini. You are a complete stranger to me. In that case... Hey, no fair! Mr. Cat volunteered first. <laughs> this act is anti-cat! I'm not anti-cat. I'm anti-Mr. Cat. <laughs> cool. Okay, we'll take the cat. <laughs> Here you go. Mr. Cat is in the show. Observe an everyday cabinet. By the powers of Earth, wind and fire, I command you to vanish. Presto! <laughs> thank you, thank you. You've been a great crowd. So long. Wait, you still have to bring back Mr. Cat. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Uh, okay. I mean, very well. Prepare to be, um, freaked out. Hocus pocus, return to focus. I command you to reappear. And... Nothing. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Just great. One more time, Dennis. Typical cat. Boo! Looks like Cat's done it again. Oh, man. Millie's gonna... Go! Find the darn cat before all the new windows I put in... Find that cat! Mr. Cat! Come out, you sneaky, conniving, pathetic excuse for a pet. Get out here, you pre-shrunk skunk. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Where are you, Mr. Cat? <laughs> I can't believe it. I wanted Cat gone forever, and now I can't even enjoy it. Coop, what if you've unleashed some awesome untapped power? Cat could be lost in a parallel dimension. He could be on the cabinet. You got me in a ton of trouble, Buster. <laughs> Dad! Cat's on the cabinet of curiosity! I think your joke has gone far enough. Blase's cannon? That's it! The cabinet and magic props are going back to the House of Swap today! And you, mister, are grounded until we find Mr. Cat! I need to find that fleshy freak fast, or I'll never see sunshine again! My Grammy always used to say, lost things are always in the last place you look. 
So maybe you should check there first. Or we could check in the first place we looked last. What if Cat snuck back into the Cabinet of Curiosity after we checked it? That would mean he's been hiding inside the whole time we searched the house. But your dad's taking all the magic stuff back to the House of Swamp. So that's where we gotta go. Starving? Are you kidding? Cat eats like 10 meals a day. I don't know where he puts all that food. Gotcha! I'll call Dad and tell him we found him. Dad, it's Coop. Uh, hi, Millie. Can you put Dad on? Once Dad is on his way, I'll be off the hook. Uh, cool. like Cat must have fallen through this extra compartment in the back. Lucky you've got a flare for showbiz, Coop, or Cat might have been trapped forever. Presto! Oh, Mr. Cat, you look so cute in that little hat. I just want to eat you up. Well, at least Millie stopped crying. Coop, your magic made the sun disappear. We're all doomed. Oh, never mind. Wow. A camping we will go, a camping we will go, high up the area. Uh, Dad, the Dolly Holiday Campgrounds and Water Park is that way. Yeah, that place is a glorified parking lot. This year, we're roughing it, son. Communing with nature away from nagging neighbors and big city noise. Sounds great, Dad. But why do we have to bring Millie's cat? Cats don't camp. Ah, leave Mr. Cat alone. It's his vacation, too. Maybe he needs some air. Millie, don't let the cat out! <laughs> Everyone out, out, out! <sighs> <sighs> Smell that clean air. Listen to the sounds of nature. Smells like chicken fingers to me. And sounds like TV to me. Yeah? Whoa. Hey, Dennis. Coop! No way! You're camping too? Yeah. We're roughing it, just like you. I'd hardly call this roughing it. Henry, you wouldn't know a pine cone from an ice cream cone without all these techno doohickeys. Oh, yeah? With or without this stuff, I'm still twice the camper you are. Huh. Care to prove it? Try camping like a real outdoorsman for 24 hours. You are on. I can outcamp you any day. <sighs> so much for communing with nature. <laughs> yeah. We'll see who the real outdoorsman is. You bet we will. Dennis, pack up the basketball court. <laughs> Watch for him. You better. Want some help, Daddy? 
Sure do, Pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just watch and learn, Millie. Do you think you'd be doing that from the outside? I just need to get this tent pole inserted. Ow! Oh, yeah, you're a master camper, Bert. <laughs> Voila! What? No one can put up a tent that quickly. What? <laughs> Sweet Pea, where'd you learn to put up a tent? Greeny girl. Really? Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> our dads will be competing all day. The great outdoors is ours for the taking. Yeah! <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> that poison ivy's been itching to meet you, cat. <laughs> Ooh, do I detect the distinct and yummy smell of vacuum-packed dried fruits, nuts, artificial flavor, and hydrogenated vegetable oil? Sure do. And I've got powdered water if you're thirsty, too. <laughs> she doesn't need your futuristic space food, Henry. I'm gonna catch our dinner like a real outdoorsman. Oh, really? Well, so am I. Huh. I don't even need a rod. I'm gonna fish the way my ancestors did, with a spear. Who can play the spear fishing game? <sighs> Careful, those are fire ants. If their mound is disturbed, they'll latch on with their barbed mandibles and sting you with burning venom. That is so cool. <laughs> Look out, got it, Jack. <laughs> What do you say we collect some firewood? Another one? <laughs> How about that? Not having much luck, Bert. Careful, Daddy. Careful? A master woodsman has to be bold, Turnip. <laughs> Finished already, Bert? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too close, honey. His mama must be around here somewhere, and we don't want to tangle with her. Oh, please. That's like Greeny Girl's lesson number one. Oh, caught another one. That makes an even dozen fish to your... Oh, zero. Booyah! <laughs> a bear! <laughs> yep, you're a real outdoorsman, Henry. Hey, Coop, what do you think left these? A unicorn? A dinosaur? Maybe a moose and fuzzy bear paw slippers. I know what these are. Trust me, we should go another way. Stop, Dennis! <laughs> what happened to you guys? Don't ask. Come on, Dennis. Dinner. Where have you been, Mr. Cat? Ew, stinky, stinky. Woo! Smells like Mr. Cat met up with Mr. Skug. Better give him a bath. Coop, you said you'd watch him. We did watch him. We watched him get sprayed, stung, and roll in poison ivy. What's for dinner, Dad? I'm starving. Me too. We uh, don't have fish, but I packed enough food for a feast. Hamburgers, hot dogs, ah! fishy frisky bits. Fire, fire, there must be something on the internet about fire. Put that thing away, Henry. All you need are two rocks to make a spark. <laughs> <laughs> and to bash your hands. Admit it, but my way is way better. <laughs> Never! <sighs> We're running out of gauze. All you need are two sticks and half a brain. That's my greeny girl. Come on, Dad. Just use a plain old lighter. <sighs> All right. Let's cook dinner. Something smells yummy. Freeze-dried stew with meat like chunks. Hungry, Millie? Sure am. You're on your own, Daddy. There's plenty. Want to come and join us for dinner, Mr. Burtonburger? Well, you can go if you want, son. But I'm going to show those guys how a real camper toughs it out. 
It's okay. Food is overrated. That's the spirit. Fishy, frisky bits. Mmm. My favorite. <laughs> These should be out of reach. We don't want another bear drawn into the camp looking for cat food. Ugh. Minute, Bert. My way of camping is all the comforts of home. It may be comfy, but it ain't camping till you learn how to light a fire. Or get a greenie girl to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> you must feel the wrath of Captain Blasteroid, imposter! No, you are the imposter. I'm the real Captain Blasteroid! Explain to us again why you asked us to film this lame fight sequence. Lame? This will be the best underground Blasteroid movie ever! Captain Blasteroid and the attack of the evil clones! Who wouldn't want to see that? Us? Hey! 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 <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? I'm taking Greeny Girl martial arts lessons! Well, you're ruining our movie. No, she isn't. That was the best part so far. Yeah, do some more, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Coop. You gonna let your little sister beat you up? <laughs> Coop's little sister totally kicked his butt. And I've got it all on tape. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose there's any way we can keep quiet about this? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Maybe Millie's been doing yoga. I hear that really strengthens your core. It's the best show in town. See a wimpy 10-year-old kid get flipped by his baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>
Dad, I need to take martial arts lessons. Sure, Coop. The Bank of Burtonburger can handle that in a month or two. <gasps> Just as soon as we take care of this bill for replacement gnomes. A month? That's not soon enough. Well, why don't you get Millie to show you some moves? She's taking martial arts lessons. Yeah, Coop. I'll show you. No way. I'm not taking lessons from my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Well, another bill for drywall. <laughs> hey, Coop, been beat up by your little sister lately? <laughs> what happened the other day was pure luck. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> well, maybe one more time. <laughs> Get a close up of his face, Harl! Coop, he's totally gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jack! If <laughs> only you would blame something weaker than your baby sister. Coop, look out! That sparrow looks like it wants your lunch money. <laughs> You're so lame! Lame-tastic! Lame-erythic! Lame-tacular! <laughs> <laughs> Millie couldn't flip me by herself three times. She had to have had help from Cat. So an alien entity made it look like she had super strength. I knew there was a logical explanation. Hey, didn't you always tell me that your grandfather was a kung fu master? Yes, he was the most respected master in all of Hong Kong. Dennis, you gotta teach me martial arts so I can defend myself against Cat. Me? Grandpa told me a few of his training techniques, but Dennis, the whole school thinks I got flipped by my little sister. Three times. My reputation is at stake here. You have to help me. If I do this, you must submit to my teaching, mind, body, and soul. It's a deal, Dennis. From now on, it's Master Dennis. First, you must learn how to focus your chi, the energy within. Oh. Try to snatch this marble from my hand. Oh. Now what, Master Dennis? I don't know. You weren't supposed to be able to do that until after your training. Oh well, moving on. Now, Grandfather said every great martial artist has a fighting style inspired by one of nature's fierce creatures. Nut gathering squirrel. Flopping seagull. Dog at hydrant. Show me flapping seagull. Um, poop. Nut gathering squirrel! Doesn't matter. We got so much footage of Coop being lame that we could start our own TV channel. Yeah, the lame network. These will help you visualize your opponent. Now, focus your chi. <laughs> now, break this board, and you will break your fear of the cat. Next time Cat tries to take me out, he's in for a world of ouch. <laughs> I am ready for you, my furless foe. Captain Blasteroid! <laughs> Cat Drool, I will avenge you. It's not finished yet, but we're confident it's gonna be our best work yet. It's Cat Boy! Now we can shoot our ending! <laughs> Asteroid, you're 
is no greater insult. Dennis, I'm at the house of Swap, and I'm gonna take down Cat. But you're only supposed to use your skills for self-defense! Coop! Coop! <laughs> Yo, flea bitten feline! I challenge you to head to bar combat! Flapping seagull! to feel the wrath of the staff. <laughs> Terror of the tuba! <laughs> Coop! Oh, Grandfather, what should I do? Show me a sign! Local businessman opens Kung Fu Movie Theater. Uh-oh! Here comes Dennis! Act natural. Hang on, Coop! I'm coming! Locked! <laughs> Dennis! Coop, my grandfather wasn't a kung fu master! He ran a movie theater! What? It wasn't training techniques he was telling me about. It was movie plots! <laughs> well, if I could break that board, I can take this cat! Oh, about that? I partially sawed through that board. I wanted to build up your confidence. <laughs> What's going on in there? I can't see. It's been a close enough. Uh, A little ninja do. Cool. Ah! Let's take him down. I don't know about this, Coop. Oh. Focus, RG. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> go again, hike. <laughs> Now I can prove I didn't get flipped by Millie. Who? What are you and Dennis doing in the house of Swap when it's closed? Dad, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I believe it all right. What a mess! Kids, scaring off that vertically challenged intruder was a brave thing to do. But next time, leave it to the pros. You boys have to teach me some of those crazy moves! Coop took on a tiny ninja. He's got the mojo of a dojo hero. And I trained the hero. A hero is one who focuses his chi and... Ah! Ah! Millie! That's Master Millie to you. I've completed my greenie girl self-defense training. Oh, man, I had the lens cap on. 